Every time I read the name of one of our boys who lost his life, I have great admiration for them. They defend our progressive ideas that will free our country from religious superstitions. Hi, Jorge. Hi. Hi, how are you? Congratulations on your film, Fatima, which is out now in cinemas and on demand in UK. How are you today? Really good, thanks. Yeah, yeah I'm really good too. It's a beautiful day here. Fatima is a true story based on three children in Portugal in 1917 who see a vision of Mary who urges them to pray to end the war. So Alejandra, could, can you tell us about your experience making the film? Um, it was really cool being in Portugal for uh, two months and being in five different locations. And I was uh, only eight years old. And it was a lot of fun being with um, Jorge and Stephanie, which my other two friends. And uh, we played a lot in between takes. And it was uh, wonderful. As a matter of fact, we, we, we are having so much fun that the one actress told us to focus all the time. <laughs> wow, that sounds like a really great experience. Yeah, it was really cool. So, Jorge, what was your experience like? Well, I also really enjoyed, I was really close with all my friends, especially the kids. We were playing all the time and we had the same passion for what we were doing. So I really enjoyed spending time with them and also mm-hmm. learning from such great actors like Jokim Dalmeida and Lucia Moniz because it was my first time doing this kind of experience and it was many hours, but thanks to them, they taught me a lot of things and I enjoyed every single part. Wow, that sounds amazing. It was your first experience, so that was really cool. Fatima is quite an intense film and the, the young characters of Lucia and Francisco and Jacinta receive a lot of pressure because of the visions of Mary. So how did you feel supported by the director Marco and the rest of the cast to bring that to life as actors? Well, Marco was... Um... He rehearsed with us, we were rehearsing for two weeks and he was a very nice director and unlike others, he would um, talk to us and say how he wanted this uh, to be. And also at the end, he would always pick me up. He was a very professional, but very fun director too. That sounds so fun. To me, I'm so grateful for everyone that made this film happen. I was not aware of how many people need to be there and work every day to make this happen. And everyone that accompanied me throughout the way, the producers were all really sweet to me and made me feel really confident with what I was doing. And also my coach, Marcella and Marco and everyone. That sounds so great. It sounds like both of you got um, a lot of support. Yeah. So, Alejandra, you speak several languages. What languages do you speak? Um, I speak um, Catalan, Spanish, and English. Wow, that's really cool. Um, and you're also the voice of the dog Cleo, the popular animated show in Spain. Um, oh. Can you please say something to us as Cleo? Okay. Arf, guess what? Today we're on the hunt. That smells incredible. I always used to do that. I love that. That is hilarious. (laughs) And Jorge, you're a talented musician. What instruments do you play? Well, I used to play uh, the flute and the violin, but now I'm focusing a lot in dance and in musical theater since it's like what now my passion. Wow, that's great. 
Um, and you're also a talented dancer and you've performed as Billy Elliot in Spain. Um, how did you find that? Well, for me, Billy Elliot was an awesome experience. It was three years. And in fact, when they told me to do the movie of Fatima, I said I would do it if later when I come back, I was going to be able to do Billy Elliot because I trained so hard to do it. I spent two years training doing ballet, uh, every kind of dance and singing and acting to be able to do it. And now I was able to do it and that was like a dream come true. Wow, that, that seems like a lot. <laughs> so um, have you performed on the West End or is it something you would like to do? Of course, I would love to perform on the West End. It's like such a dream. And I've been there twice. I've seen Aladdin and I've seen Wicked, the two times I've been to London. And I was so impressed with all the actors. They're all so professional. They, they like, master every single like discipline yeah. they master dancing they master singing they master acting it's like wow yeah it is it's incredible which actors you admire and who do you like to work with um alejandra um i watched sophie's choice with meryl streep and meryl streep she was so amazing she could just cry and be so emotional and it and yet it looks so natural so being in a film with her would be so cool and amazing yeah yeah that seems like it would be really cool <laughs> and jorge what actors or performers do you admire and who would you like to work with i admire a lot of performers but what one particular performer that i like i really like is tom holland because he was also Billy Elliot. He was, he had the same background as me of dance and ballet and everything. And now he's like super famous and he's super talented in everything he does. And he's a triple threat, mastering acting and dancing and everything. And I would love to be like that. Wow, that's really cool. So Jorge, can you tell us what you're working on now? Um, what's up next for you? Well, now I'm, I'm really focusing on my training in everything. I'm going to a musical theater academy and a professional ballet academy too. So I'm working on those a lot. I spend many hours training every day. And now I'm going to be in two movies, just like as a backup dancer. But that's an experience I've never had before. I think it's great to be in a musical theater movie. I've never had that experience and I'm really looking forward to do it as well as going into a professional degree in musical theater. I'm going to do that next year. Wow, that seems great. That seems like a great experience. <laughs> and Alejandra, what, um, can you tell us what you're working on now and what's up next for you? Well, um, ever since Fatima, like, in Fatima was a save, ever since then, I've been more like a horror ghost sci-fi thing. I was a ghost in the Vampire Barcelona, a little girl in a nightmare in a series here in Spain, uh, a ghost and the beast. And next week, I will be shooting Paraiso, which is um, this... Spanish series that is like Stranger Things, but in, in Spanish, yeah. And soon I will be recording that, yeah. Wow, that's amazing. So with your new projects, I hope you come and tell cinema stars what's going on. <laughs> so thank you, Alejandra and Jorge. And this interview was brought to you by Cinema Stars. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.